Well, with today marking the beginning of summer, many celebrate simply because it is the longest day of light. Our Josh Peterson shares the story of local Swedes who mark this day with a celebration of midsummer. In mid-June, school is out and nature has burst into life. It seems like the sun never sets. In fact, in the north of Sweden, it doesn't. And in the south, it only sets for an hour or so. So for Swedes, this long day of light calls for a celebration, bringing friends and family together for the Swedish tradition of midsummer. Midsummer Fest is where we celebrate the longest day in Sweden, and we try to duplicate this holiday. Midsummer kicked off with the preparing of the traditional maypole, but also featured a parade, music, delicious foods, and of course, plenty of dancing around the maypole. For generations, Swedes have celebrated the summer solstice with midsummer. However, for this local group of Swedes here in Bemidji, it's all about preserving its cultural history and passing it on to future generations. I think kids like to learn about where they came from. And I'm a teacher myself, so I know that that's something that kids are interested in. And they enjoy learning about the different parts of their family history and how they can experience some of those things. One way the Bemidji affiliate of the American Swedish Institute is working to educate its Swedish youth is by using local resources through the Concordia Language Camp and offering scholarships. We have programs throughout the school year. We have the scholarships that we offer to, to Concordia Language Camp, to the Swedish Camp. We also have just activities that kids can be involved in. Today, those of Swedish heritage celebrate not only the first day of summer, but the continuation of long-lasting traditions. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Besides Midsummer, the group also celebrates St. Lucia Day on December 13th. And for more information, you can find the Bemidji affiliate of the American Swedish Institute on Facebook. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.